My name is Jose Moore. Uh, I'm an MC, educator, activist, um, part of the Universal Zulu Nation, Grand Zulus out of Grand Rapids, and also the, the founder of all of the above Hip Hop Academy here in Lassen. Bonjour, I need to get you to go to the indigenous cards, because you don't know what to do, but you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. That language I'm speaking is the Anishinaabe language. Uh, it's the original language of uh, this land, which is Michigan. Uh, my name's Knox. I'm from Southwest Detroit. Uh, people are calling me a transmedia artist, so I accept that title. So I'm like a designer, this transmedia artist that works with multiple forms of technology and mediums, and I organize with it. Um, just more work I do in the hood um, at Urban Arts. <clears throat> Built a studio there. Um, got one of the young homies in here, Freddie, that's in the picture. He's here. And yeah, it's a studio we build in the hood, a lot of community work and uh, organizing out of there through the hip hop. So that's what we're doing. We're making tools and uh, art for our communities to use rather than something just a, a transactional interaction of here's art, you consume it, and there it goes. Now, it's more, like I was saying earlier, like this transformative mix of media mm -hmm. that we can begin to emerge new thoughts, ideas, and have this critical time of reflection to build within. Um, I founded a program, a hip hop program based on like social justice, community work, and hip hop, and taking it back to the roots of hip hop, in the park, trying to find electricity, all kinds of stuff. So we're just taking it to the roots, back to the park, but we're indigenizing our process in those things, and really uplifting those Anishinaabe and indigenous context of the land and the history we got in those areas. So it's kind of both the indigenous history of hip hop, but also the indigenous history of the land. In terms of the night, all I'm gonna do tonight is rap. That's all I'm gonna do. Rap my face off. And, and just do that. <laughs> That's part of it. I will rap, but um I wanna share um story of transformation for me, you know, um kinda of where I grasp the um the power hip hop holds and its ability to um, to promote transformation and how in and of itself is transformative. It's been able to give a voice to voiceless people. If there's no community to support folks that want to stand up and say no against oppressive systems and systemic injustices, then then how can you expect somebody who's just trying to survive to say no to opportunities to make money? This is a con this is a this is a conversation that needs to be had. Because we're, we're, we're pointing the finger at hip hop. Yes, we're pointing the finger at hip hop. But hip hop is just a reflection of what's really going on. And if the community is not strong, if there's not an investment, an intentional investment into the communities, and if we don't have the kind of work that Knox is doing in empowering the community that lives there, that's from there, then we can't expect things to change. When I say rise up, y'all say rise up, rise up, rise up. Rise up. When I say rise up, y'all say rise up, rise up. Rise up, 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 rise up